So I just saw the CT and bone scan results on my online chart and my oncologist nurse just called a few minutes ago and hmm anyway where am I exactly right now I'm here in LA I drove here last night because I'm meeting with some agents to eventually get representation here because I do want to fulfill my media dream and the mecca of media is right here in LA. Yeah, today I, I received the, the test results and the good news is the bone is improving. Thank you God. At least there's something good, right? Because I do have a little dot of metastasis on each side of my hip bone. So it's as small as a little dot. And one on my left lymph node. So the left lymph node hasn't been increasing or getting bigger or swollen. So it's still the same. And both my tiny dots on each side of my hip is getting smaller. Thank you God again. Woo! So at least there's something good happening. The hormone treatment is obviously working. But the bummer is that they saw something on my left lung. There's a little buildup of liquid or what they call an effusion. Just a tiny one that they wanted to investigate to make sure that it's not cancer or it's nothing to be worried about. So I will do one more test for that. They're going to drain it and poke it and so i'm just waiting for them to schedule it but so i guess we cannot really fully celebrate right now because i'm gonna wait for that to happen and it annoys the fuck out of me i am sorry but i'm gonna have to say bad words just because i'm so pissed that this cancer journey is always taking over my life i would love to just move to la and do my jam and live my life and stop being poked and go to the hospital but i guess it's part of this stupid journey that I didn't sign up for ah I'm just so frustrated you know I mean I'm very patient and I do love my life but at this point sometimes I feel like cancer is just taking so much of my life that I cannot do what I want fully because of all these hospital commitments and I know that I should be thankful I'm not in a wheelchair or I'm not stuck in a bed but still it sucks you know it really sucks that people have to go through cancer and I just can't understand why America hasn't invented a cure for this yet because this is just so inconvenient and I hate the fact that I'm gonna have to go to the hospital again next week and anticipate another test another poke another uncertainty and entertain the possibility that maybe it's in my lung right now on my left lung although we're not really sure yet but I'm just freaking out right now because I am so annoyed. I don't want to go through all this scare and this psychological burden of always wondering if I'm still going to live long or die. It's just so annoying. It's just pissing the hell out of me right now. You know, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. This cancer journey is a pain in the butt. And I'm not going to lie. This is my real reaction right now. I am not going to pretend that I am happy and positive. Of course I am. I want to live long and I'm doing everything I can. And I'm praying to God that he's going to give me more years. But right now I need to feel what I need to feel. And it's annoying that there's a little dark cloud over my celebration right now. That the bone is improving. But, but, we're going to check your left lung because there's something that popped out that wasn't there before. How fun is this? Oh God, yeah, so it's really annoying. This is the real journey of having a cancer diagnosis. Yes, you get positive and happy and you appreciate life, but there are days when it just really sucks like today. I'm gonna get over this and come out a better person, but right now I need to feel what I need to feel and that is being pissed off, you know? I'm not pissed off with my body. I love my body. I know it's doing what it can to stay alive, but this fucking cancer it's just so annoying why can't it just disappear and so i don't have to get worried ah i just want to live my life guys i'm 40 years old i'm still strong and healthy and i should be doing a lot of other things aside from going to the hospital getting poked and getting all this worry and fear and doubt i'm only human you know i feel what i need to feel and it sucks it really sucks 
So you know what? If cancer is alive right now, all I'm going to say is fuck you. I'm going to live my life and prove to you that I can still make it to, to my dream and reach what I have to reach. And you're not going to stop me from doing my thing. How about that? So yeah, go out, leave. I don't need you. I have a life. Stop ruining my life for me because I'm not going to let you. Period. No negotiations. So, huh, yes, this is the reality. This is my real emotion. And I'm just, mm, I can't wait for this test to get done so I could just celebrate the fact that, you know, my treatments are working. Again, the bone is improving, but we're still going to investigate the, the left lung because of some little liquid build up that we need to check on and I know that my medical team is just being vigilant and doing what they can to make sure that I'm okay but of course it's still annoying because ah another poke another uncertainty another whatever shit ah so exhausting you know what I feel like I feel like I'm in a a battle in on court with some domestically violent husband who won't let me live my life and always trying to ruin my day this is how it feels like but i'm not gonna let it happen and that is why i went to la today to pursue my dream even if i know that the test results are coming today i'm not gonna let that stop me from doing my thing and so with you guys anyone watching out there who has a dream or wants a goal to happen don't let cancer or other negative things or world trouble stop you from doing your thing because this is your life and we live every day we only die once so we got to do what we got to do right anyway i have to drive back to san diego right now thanks for listening you guys that's the latest update with my health let's all pray for the best and hoping that this is the last test i have to do and hopefully it turns out to be nothing to be scared about just so I could move on with my life and live and do things that are in alignment with my calling and purpose thank you for watching and yeah this is my battle for today this whole fucking cancer scare that's always getting in my way and messing up with my psychology but I'm gonna get through it by still pursuing my dream and that's my battle for today what is your battle for today let me know. I'll see you again next time. Let's keep winning. Bye for now.